Shocking, unthinkable, unfathomable. Those are just some of the words being used to describe the case against the Asia Watkins. The details get more disturbing by the hour, but tonight a family just wants some answers. If you are just joining us, we want to get you up to speed on this case. We have learned the baby girl was living in the custody of an aunt. Watkins was ordered not to have contact with the child. However, Watkins was living with the aunt at the time of the baby's death. We've also learned Watkins has a history of battling postpartum psychosis. Joe Dieter said this afternoon because of her history with mental illness, they will not pursue the death penalty. And now 911 calls shed new light on the horror of the murder scene. What do you see when you look at the child? What do look, look, this lady, I don't want to describe the scene. This screen is very very bad. All right, the little lady, the little baby, head is open, like okay. open, open. I, I'm, I'm not going in there to touch nothing, cause I don't want to mess nothing up. I'm not going in there to look, cause I already seen it. But it's not. It's very violent. It's a very violent thing. All right, it's very violent. And this is a hard thing for anyone really to understand. A mother accused of beheading her infant daughter. One person struggling for answers tonight, of course, is the baby's father. James Brown spoke tonight on your side, reporter Jason Law, about the shocking death of his little girl. Jason? Janiah's father told me this afternoon, DeAsia Watkins just wasn't the same after giving birth. Janiah was born December 4th, and about a month later, James Brown said things began to change. Um. I'm lost. I'm lost right now. James Brown says there were never any obvious threats. DeAsia Watkins never talked to him about wanting to hurt their baby. But he said she was acting strange. Did you ever try and talk to her? Did you ever try to, you know, get her to see what was going on in her head? I mean, we 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 talked, but it wasn't I didn't feel like it was her when she was talking to me at the at the time. Like it was different. Like her, the way she acted was different. Brown believed Watkins needed help, but says she refused to take her medication. One warning sign came January 25th when officers were called to the couple's apartment. According to Cheviot police, Watkins was screaming at the child to stop crying. Chris Gully was there and told officers she'd been acting strange the last couple of weeks, talking in tongues and acting crazy. She kept calling us like the devil and stuff like that. Like she kept saying we were sinning so much and we, we didn't realize we were sinning that we need to come to the light. Is there anything you'd want to say to her? I mean, I, I just, I, I want to figure out why she, why, why would she do some stuff like this? So the baby was born December 4th. Imagine that he's now planning her funeral. And unfortunately for us, you know, for, for the public, he just didn't really have that many answers. I don't think it's easy to explain something like this. No, not at all. And of course, this story brings up some really big issues that affect mothers all over the tri-state. So for new moms who've suffered mental health problems, help is not too far away. In fact, Cradle Cincinnati now weighing in, reporting nearly half of Hamilton County moms experience at least some degree of postpartum depression. If you or someone you know is in need of help, you can call the Talbert House's 24-hour hotline at the number on your screen that is 512 care or text Talbert at 839-863. You can also dial 211 to get in touch with the United Way to find other mental health resources. We have all of this posted for you on our website WCPO.com. And be sure to stay with Nine on your side for all the new developments in this case. Right now we have the entire press conference from this afternoon with all of today's new information plus all the court documents in this case all piled up for you right now on WCPO.com.